Yo, what's up guys? Today we'll be doing a showcase on Umbra or uh, the um, male female version of um, Ombre. So Ombra is level 175, my level 175. It's a dark type with special ability with bleed and ground. So unlike um, normal Ombre, doesn't have a bl uh, blessing. So this is 690, 21.4k damage, 5 attack speed and 55 range. Similar stat line to um, normal Ombre with Isaka life, godlike powers, unravel intelligence, prodigy, progressive, and girls. So this is the difference. Final bosses. There was no final bosses. Instead, uh, it's uh, girls. Which girls actually has a stronger category, actually, than uh, final bosses. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because, uh, yeah, it's stronger now. I mean, no, no, no. It's not stronger. I think final bosses is a stronger category. Either way, so this unit does not have a blessing, but we're going to be using Ombre Blessing for this video. So, let's get on with the showcase, guys. Alrighty, let's go and place down Ombre. So, Ombre, Umbra, my bad, Umbra. So, Umbra, let's see your Umbra's different sign compared to, uh... So, Umbra has more a uh, defined boobies with uh, short sleeves and no pants. While Ombre... You can also place both of them at the same time, by the way. That's actually broken. Wait, that's actually broken because you can use one for... Wait, I think you can just solo stuff now. You can solo even harder now because you can just stick down two ombres, right? You have two ombres at your dis disposal. So if you place down two ombres, one could target first and one target could target last. Or you put them in two different sides. So basically, you could deal with bosses even better now. I definitely should give this a look, actually. If you could just stick to that two down, uh, if you have like Ombra and Ombre, holy shit, this is gonna be busted. This combo is busted. By the way, uh, Ombre has pants and long sleeves, and he also has a hood. No, they both have hoods, but there's no blush. The Bell version is like, oh, I'm emo, and then like, and like the female version is like, ala ala. It's an ala ala vibes, actually. It does give off a lot of vibes. Anyways, we're not going to be showcasing uh, number on Breda today. <laughs> Alright, so let's see the first animation though. Let's go, let's go. So the first animation is a dash, cut through. It's a bleed though. Which does a lot of bleed damage by the way. So a lot of bleed damage, which is which makes like 25k damage. Pfft, nothing bro, it's nothing. Alright, let's go upgrade this, 15k, more damage. 30k more damage, 50k more damage, and 70k power flame with uh, 55 range to 70 range and more damage. So it's now AoE circle is much bigger now. AoE circle is much bigger. So this is pretty much the same thing as uh, honestly normal ombre. So now it's a power blast. It's just flames come spike up. Purple flames. Pretty cool. So 90k is uh slime spike so i think this is aoe is bigger now yeah the aoe is a little bit more bigger more damage and the more range up to 90 by the way and right, let's see this so a power spike this is purple spike spot a spike up pretty cool let's see that again so yeah is this purple sp spikes honestly the animations don't really matter for ombra and ombre it's just the fact that you could just like stick you could just stick like both in like different sides really 150 is atomic so she gets a, a atomic nuke which uh, allows her to uh be able to pop stuff like uh, ombre this is equal to the current amount of attack that she has by the way that's the ability so we'll see uh ombre ability after this okay let's see ombre ability since there's no change in animation so uh, atomic oh she has an ability I, I, I didn't know she has an animation in cutscene Wait, I didn't know she has a cutscene. Does Ombre do that as well? I didn't know that. I didn't know Ombre does that. Does Ombre do that? They, she does. Holy shit. I didn't know they do cutscenes. Oh my god. That is crazy. I didn't know they do cutscenes, but oh well. Alright, one mil flaming spike. Let's see this. Bigger AoE circle. Flaming spike. So this is bit is this spikes is this the last two uh, animations together? Yeah, it's basically the last two animations together, really, and much bigger by the way. The f f all both of them. 
two times the size. Two times the size. That's pretty cool. Alright, one mil. Vampire style. Ooh, that animation is lit. You know, I didn't know Ombre could do this. I think my last uh, Ombre showcase didn't do too well because I didn't like, you know, show it correctly. But man, the Ombre animations are actually lit. Holy shit. The Ombre animations are lit. I didn't never knew it was this lit. <laughs> I actually didn't even know that it had a cutscene. My god. It's actually pretty lit. Alright, that's pretty cool. So, last ability. 2 mil. Atomic all range. Alright, let's see atomic all range. So, atomic all range is a global. So, you can't use any other nukes if you use atomic all range. Which kind of sucks. I mean, I think you can use um, Yugi with atomic range. I don't know. Someone fact checked me on that. But, like, you can't use mob with it. Which is the reason why. Like, it got nerfed. It used to be very good. I'm pretty sure the AOE circle used to be much bigger. Oh well. Let's use atomic all range. Gotcha. That's pretty cool. Yo, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Too bad you can't use it multiple times. So like if I try to use it again, by the way. Alright, this time we're gonna try to use it again. Doesn't work. Which kinda sucks, you know? The animation's pretty cool. I wish you could use it more often. I mean, probably like you can't use it in the same unit again. That would be fair. I mean, that won't be fair. It'll be just be, be straight up the best unit ever. So, anyways, we're gonna place, uh. We only could place one Ombra, but basically Ombre and Ombra is the same thing, so. Let's place, um. So this is basically your, the infinite mode version, and this is gonna be the this is gonna be the uh, infinite mode and story and raids. So honestly, this is an S tier unit overall, anyways. So like, if you, you could, if you like right now, you could get uh, Umbra in the in the Gauntlet, which just came out like recently, today, in fact, like the day, like on this today when this video release, it's on that day. So let's go and buff it now. Let's see how good is it. So normal ombre with um raid and story mode is 14 mil, five of the attack speed, 108 range. Pretty good. Pretty pretty good. All right, let's buff it again for the infinite mode upgrade. Not yet, but yeah, this is actually now super broken. By the way, you could probably just solo any raids because if you stick one ombre in the one side and another ombra in the other side, I put it first or last. Oh man, it's gonna do work. It's gonna do mad work. 38.8 mil, 5 attack speed, and 132 range. This is actually really, really good. Um, I'm pretty sure this is still the best bleed unit, but now it's tied with Ombre and Ombra. Basically the same unit though, by the way. Just no um, blessing, I think you're missing... Uh, it's, there's also one change in... Um, one change in... One change in um, traits categories traits categories whatever so yeah that's pretty much it um this this unit is um s tier s tier s tier s tier pretty good so yeah guys uh that's pretty much it thank you all for watching um i'll be back next time with another all-star tower defense showcase in the meantime have a good day and uh bye bye